Welcome to Turn to Your Neighbor. This is the Christian Talk Show where we talk about music, movies, the church, social media, and a whole lot more. My name is Cliff and this is Tamika. Hey neighbors. Hey Cliff. What's up to all the neighbors out there? In case you haven't recognized yet, when we are usually three, now we are two. Big Dre will be joining us, we hope, at some point later in the show. Yeah. But the show gotta go on. So we just gotta That's right. We just gotta do it without him. All right, neighbors, wherever you are, do me a favor right now. Please share, share, hit the share button, hit the like button. Come on, help me out. Let people know that we are here and we're going to have us a good time tonight with or yes, without Dre. Can. But Dre will yes. be here at some point. <laughs> and he's going to say we were hating on him when he does come in. He's probably not even watching. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he's probably, Dre doesn't Dre doesn't pay this attention to the show until he gets on air. Everybody, That's everybody, right. Everybody knows that. But he is okay, everyone. You know, there's yeah. some there's a lot of folks out there who don't have electricity, heat, and all that. Yeah. This is not the issue. He's okay. He's yeah. he's just pressing his way. Yeah, when Dre misses the show, usually the neighbors already put him on the sick and shutting list and, and they all are like, Oh, he'll be all right. <laughs> he's okay. Right. Especially in these times, you know, you never know. Our kid had a fever on Friday and, you know, a fever in these COVID times is never just a fever. So we went and got this fancy thermometer. To me, it was fancy because the one you just put in front of the head. Mm -hmm. Now, this thermometer like flashes red lights if you're if you have fever. OK, and so indeed, he did have a fever. And so we didn't, you know, we kept him out of school. He's fine now, but uh, you just never know. So you got to be extra prayed up and prepared in these COVID times. In these COVID times. Times mm -hmm. is tough out there. So I want to send thoughts and prayers out to all of the people out there in Texas and in the southern, southwestern part of the country who are without yeah. heat and electricity. Um, us East Coasters know how you feel. Yes. And hope it gets better real soon. Yes. All right. So, yeah, that, 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 um, with the lights, it, that, that's definitely fancy. Yeah. Your, uh, your thermometer with lights and everything. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's green light means you're good. Red light is like, yes, this is a fever. Um, so I guess anything over a hundred is a fever. Um, but yeah, his was over 100. So yeah. it was, so you could read the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> like just, a just reading numbers you is could, overrated. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It, it, it must flash, uh, lights. It's, it's, so then he was like into getting his temperature checked. <laughs> it's funny. And it tells you, it blinks a yellow light when it's about to take the temperature. And if you need to go closer, it says, Forward, forward, forward. If you're too far away, and then you get it just close enough. Very fancy. Okay. Good investment. Cool. cool. Well, let's get to it. First thing I want to talk about. Um, I'm not sure if, if you knew this, but we lost a giant in the body of Christ this past week. Uh, Dr. Fred Price. Yes. Pastor of the Crenshaw Christian Center. Recently passed away this week. Um, now, for those of you neighbors that don't know, because he... He is not, if, if we talk talking about the, the top black preachers in the country, uh, we talk about T.D. Jakes and some people may say Jamal Bryant, you know, the, the preachers who are on TV more, have more prominent social media followings. But before all of them, there uh -huh. was Dr. Fair Price. Dr. Fair Price is like one of the, the OG black um, TV evangelists. Yes. And, and some of the, the significant things about him was he was... Um, and he was doing things in the seventies that people are doing now. He was pioneering things like having mo like a black church, having multiple services in, in one day, a black church being a mega church. Uh, and he was one of the first people that, um, that were, that was speaking prosperity and not just poverty. And he wasn't prosperity. His, his messages were balanced. It wasn't just prosperity, but he, he taught, uh, his members and anyone who watched him to understand that it's okay for you to prosper financially. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to look to God to show us how to prosper financially. 
And just so you know, right now, a lot of us grew up, the soundtrack to getting dressed for church was Bobby Jones. Uh -huh. right? Before Bobby Jones, you, your, your grandma and them was watching Fred Price. Uh -huh. Fred Price uh -huh. was the first black, teachers, black preachers on TV. So yeah. you were watching Fred Price, and then when Fred Price went off, you was watching Bobby Jones after that. So uh -huh. that's like the kind of significance. He was in your house before a lot of these other people, all these other preachers. I don't know if you have any any thoughts about Fred Price. Or, or I grew up watching him since okay. my dad's a preacher. You know, so you yeah. know how you say, Cliff, you know, your favorite gospel artist, artist. Mm -hmm. I think this is your favorite preacher's favorite preacher. Yes. You know, yes. he was he set the standard. I just remember how beautiful and humongous his sanctuary was. And I used to be really into that um, growing up. He had a very specific cadence and tone in his voice. Um, as you can see, he looked, he dressed fly. And um, he stepped down. I think he really showed how to transition. And so um, he stepped down before he... Um, yeah. Several years yeah. before he passed away, and I believe his son um, to took himself. over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, but he did die due to complications with COVID. But um, yeah, he showed he set the standard, and he was a role model in so many different ways, including understanding or modeling how to have an effective transition. Leave while you're still looking shy. And the thing about Fred Price is he wasn't a hooper. So like he didn't, you know, like he he wasn't trying to preach to yeah. preach you happy. He he was he was stayed there on the a lot of times on the floor yeah. with the congregation around him and, and just teach. And this dude built a mega church on teaching, not hooping, not not trying to put on the show, but just teaching the word the way you know God gave it to him. And mm -hmm. one other thing I'm trying to look for here because oh yeah, he he purchased. Pepperdine's old campus. So he built his church on Pepperdine University's old campus. So this man wasn't just, he wasn't like just, uh, you know, uh, a, lot, a lot of black churches are old converted buildings or like a warehouse or something. No, he said, I'm going to buy a campus and use that as my church. So um, yeah, rest in peace to, to Dr. Yes. Price. Yes. De a definite pioneer. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, a legend. Yeah, in black Christianity. In, mm -hmm. in black Christianity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, so we, we have concluded the serious portion of the show. Now we're going to get to crazy stuff. Getting foolish? Okay. We're getting foolish. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we, we're going to go straight to it. Not even cut no corners. Gotcha. I want you I want you and the neighbors to check out. Um, sometimes the praise and worship team just isn't hitting right, and uh, the preacher got to intervene and check them. Um, so check this out. Great, great, great. Hallelujah. You are a great Want to lead praise, lead praise, or you get off this altar. You understand me? And if you're going to be late to church service, you don't come here again. You don't do that to go and leave it. We are raising generations that don't fear God, and I won't take it. You sing good praise, or we get off the altar. It sounded like he was about to say, "Get the off the altar." <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we have we have all been, especially especially now, yeah. since you, you know we can all attend multiple services in in a matter of a few hours. So, if you if you are if you have um, not heard a shaky praise and worship team during this COVID period, you probably aren't paying attention, or you probably just have a really nice spirit. You're fast forwarding through, or, the or you're fast forwarding through. The I hear that people do that sometimes. Yeah. I I don't, but I hear. I, I mean, I can't. I cannot. One of my my I guess quote unquote pet peeves. I can't stand when the worship team is unprepared, and um, you could tell when they're not prepared. Yeah, and, and this looks like it's a younger saint, so maybe it's like Young Adult Sunday or something like that because they all look around the same age. They've coordinated their outfits to a T. I've never seen that where everybody's wearing the exact same outfit. I've seen like, oh, we're going to all wear this because they all have on the exact same outfit. Yeah, not from the worship um, Split team. dresses yeah. is an interesting choice, but um, <laughs> nevertheless, you know what? This is the confusion. When you bring in all the razzle-dazzle of the lights and the smoke machines, People get confused. Yeah. People get confused. See, we had the traditional choir stand and it was, you know, like on a slope and all of that. 
Oh, you you came on time. You didn't have no gum in your mouth. You wasn't passing notes. Uh, when you because you had to sit up there the whole service. At least that's how we used to have to do. Um, unless it was a special case where we got to come down out of the choir stand. So that uh put some that put some fear into you. That put some fear into you. Now they were more focused on their outfit coordination than they were on getting that sound right and lifting a joyful noise, I think. Yeah, and speaking of outfits, Donna said that's what you get for dressing praise team like <laughs> Destiny's Child catered to you. Okay. <laughs> That's so true. It's almost the exact same dress. It is? Just with a white turtleneck under. Oh. Uh, I don't like it. Well, I mean, yeah. If you have a worship team, y'all got to come prepare. Y'all you can't. Because um, that's a nice church, too. It looks yeah. like they've invested. Look at that speaker. You know, they got hanging speakers. They got some type of white structure. They put some investment in there. People are expecting you to come with that fire and you have to match. This is an interesting thing. You mm -hmm. have to match the architecture. If the architecture <laughs> is the fire, point. if I come in and the singing is like that, I'm uh -huh. very confused. So the, the clothes, the, oh, okay. The, okay. I got the you. architecture, got you. like the church you. is nice. Got you. No, no. The it's singing, the singing has to match the, the, the singing yeah. and the preaching must yeah. at least match the investment in the exactly. structure itself. I think. Okay. That, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Uh, I want you to check out, um, take a look at this church and, and how they get down with the shouting. <laughs> so for the neighbors that's listening, uh, so you you hear these people are just all dancing. They they you know they shouting, they dancing, and then somebody says hey, and they all pause and stick their hands up in the air, like in in sync too, like this is their jam. Oh wow. I've never seen that. I Those never, babies are throwing down. Yeah. I have never <laughs> seen a choreographed shout, shouting. Me neither. I see. I thought they were about to. Doesn't it look like they're about to do some type of line dance? Yeah. Oh, or it kind of looks like a, a Holy Soul Train line. They, Any of the neighbors seen that? They are. With the two girls the two in the girls middle. Two girls in the middle and everybody else on the side. Yeah. They throw it down. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess this is the thing. If you can't dance, you out of place. Like my man that's standing in the back, I would be him just standing there watching. <laughs> that would be me, brother. Just like, okay, y'all just go also, ahead. Also, who's the, in the pulpit? I, I'm not sure what's happening there. It's not the same. It's not the same with rhythm. Not quite the same. He's just going. He, that, that probably he trying to get in there. there. But he, know, he knows the hand up part, though. So he can't handle <laughs> the footwork like the rest of them. But he, <laughs> he knows when the hay goes, you got to put your hand up. So he... What does that feel like, Cliff, to be the person standing there who can't dance? Just standing there. Yeah. You just rock and He's clap. So excluded. No, you just rock and clap. That's yeah. usually Chris. Just you just He's rock just and clap. You just you just yeah. get your good clap in. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That that's all. Just you have to stay in your particular lane. But yeah. see, then the people in the other people in the pulpit, like the pastor, I guess. Is just like sitting down completely unfazed. Like, okay, whatever, people. I mean, not even not even a little bit of emotion. I think that's weird. Yeah. So if you can't, if if you know the church is all going up in the shower and you can't dance, you got a couple things you could do. I'm, I'm gonna help the neighbors out here. So there's a couple things you could do. And I know from experience. So either you could be the one of the, the people that kind of keeps people from bumping into each other. So you could play like traffic cop or, or bodyguard or, or, or you can help the ushers, help, help the ushers keep the peace, you know, keep you from bumping each other. You could do that. You could either, you know, just rock and clap or you could be one of the people that like just yells at the musicians, you know, encourages the musician. That's to say encourage, not yell. Mm -hmm. but just encourages the musicians as they, you know, playing some, some hype, hype beat. So mm -hmm. you got, there's a couple of different things you could do if you can't dance. You don't have to expose yourself and not being able to dance. You could just mm -hmm. you have to pivot. Yeah. 
Or you, you could, or you could break out in an ugly cry if, if, if you so, <laughs> you know, the, the spirit just moving you different. They all hype. You could just cry and you can, you can bob your head up and down and shake it. You know, it's a lot of different things you could do. That is so interesting. There is like a tempo to a praise break, right? Mm-hmm. So they're clearly on a up tempo praise break. But then if somebody were to just like break out and sc- like screaming and crying mm-hmm. a more, a slower, more, imp- it's like the, okay, this is like a fast song versus we fall down, but we get up, yeah. you know, Donnie McClurkin. That's like a yeah. slower tempo. Yeah. So you can't, it's like, isn't it interesting that black folks fall into the tempo? Yeah. Whatever yeah. It is. Or you could be one of them dudes. I've seen we, we I'm sure we all know that the brother who doesn't dance, but he walks up or down the aisles like he's yelling at the Lord, like he's angry at God. <laughs> yeah, you could be that person. So <laughs> a, if you can't dance, it's, it's a lot of I've options. Seen that person. Yeah. God will to God is equal opportunity as far as your praises go. You don't all have to dance. You don't. Yeah, you can you just gotta find your lane and stick in it. Because those babies, they've been going to church. They've been going to the morning service, the afternoon service, the midweek service. Like those babies stay in church the way they dancing. Wow. I love it. (laughs) I want you to check out this family and um, listen to listen to these people singing. You tell me you and the neighbors could tell me how many oils you get these people. So for the neighbors that don't know, on a scale of one to five, one being the lowest, five being the highest, how many oils would you all give this? You put in the chat how many oils you give these people. I would say five easily. And why a lot of the neighbors agree with you, and I mm-hmm. have less of a trained ear. Okay, mm-hmm. I cannot sing. Okay. And I was thinking more of a 4.5. I thought it started out shaky, but it, then it got really, really strong. No, it is five. No, it's they, five. All it's the way. five. It's they doing their good singing, and it's hard. It's hard doing. Um, I think, I, 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 it's hard to tell. I think the mom is doing the alto, and it's this still hard it's doing that sitting down. So mom yeah, is doing her good yeah. singing because I, I'm guessing because um the daughter is saying she's outside her range, so I'm guessing they have her doing the soprano part. But still, that alto in this song is is, is still high. It's still up there. Um, as you can see at the end, homegirl was was out of it. Right. Like like she's pulling every she's standing there just pulling everything out she out of her stomach. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You don't see that on TikTok every they, day. They singing, they doing a good singing right here. Plus, I think and it's it's the it's the vocal performance plus the song. So yeah. And they I wonder if they met um at Howard singing because you know so if you're gonna represent Howard everything at Howard is to a hundred so okay. if you're gonna represent Howard with the matching sweatshirts then you really gotta come with it. I wonder if they met um singing in a gospel choir or something like that at Howard. Oh that's I love it. I like the family affair though. <laughs> that's cute. I was trying to the one guy the man looked familiar to me but I can't place it. Yeah, I'm not sure. But they, the people, this family, definitely doing their good singing. Definitely. So, yeah, I think all the neighbors agree with... Uh, you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most of them, yeah, they all agree with me. This is this is that good singing right here. Okay. So, I tried to wait for... I'm going... I got another video I want to show, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm trying to wait for Dre, because this is something that he would appreciate. 
Okay. So um, I want to um, I want to talk about uh, some great blacks in the history of our church. Mm. Okay. Today. Okay. All right. So first, I want to um, introduce you and the neighbors to um, this brother right here, Deacon Willie Christian. Uh huh. Uh huh. Deacon Willie Christian was the first person to ever flick the lights on and off when he's trying to lock up the church and want y'all to get out. Okay. Be well, see what happens is uh, Deacon Willie, and now I, I wish I could say Deacon Willie was uh, had some great idea or was some kind of great innovator. Although mm -hmm. I know a lot of deacons who have taken advantage of his innovation. Oh but yes. When it, comes, when it comes down to it, Deacon Willie has to lock up. He just got tired of telling people going around and telling people to leave. So he just decided, I'm hungry. I need to get out this church. And uh, he's just decided one day he's just going to flick the lights on and off to get people mm -hmm. to the church. As mm -hmm. someone who has a very talkative mother in my childhood and a very talkative wife in, in, in my adulthood, I have been in the church when some deacon has flicked, has jingled his keys and flicked the lights on and off multiple times to get us to leave. So uh, I have been witness to Deacon mm. Willie innovation. To his technique. Now, Cliff, were you ever just stuck, still in the sanctuary, not stuck, but still left in the sanctuary when the lights were just off? No. And we, I, I've, I've been there. I've mm. been there. The lights are just off and everybody's still talking. It's like, they it's it's beyond the flick and it's just like go home like we're we're officially locking up we're about to set the alarm get out yeah i i have been it which is odd because my dad was the pastor but you know the pastor doesn't lock up the church um deacons or trustees usually take care of that and that was always pretty odd and awkward when the when it was beyond the flick and uh, that's who you know you really, really overstayed your welcome. That's how you know you're a church kid. You, you're not really a church kid unless you've been in that situation where they're flicking the lights on on you. That's right. Yeah. And you're basically being kicked out of the sanctuary. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> people like Dick and Willie trying to get home and eat. Yes. He got to get home. Exactly. And his wife was ready to go home 30 minutes, 30 ago, minutes ago from that yeah. look on her face. Yeah. So, oh yeah, Deacon yeah. Willie with his cigar and his Bible. Yes, <laughs> and and Mrs. Mrs. Christian, she was just uh, yep yeah, she she been ready to go. She got to check on her greens. Exactly. She's got you know she got to put her mac and cheese back in the oven real quick. Like come on, y'all just messing up the flow. So Deacon Willie, we salute you, sir, for kicking us out the church with that good flick, <laughs> that the good, good flick. light flick. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. I want to introduce you all to Miss Shayla Johnson. Shayla Johnson is who we have to thank for reviving liturgical dance in the Black church in the mid-20th century. So here's the thing. Uh, liturgical dance was a part of the church. Uh way back in the day. Um, and of course, we know that David danced in the Bible. So dancing was a thing. We know that enslaved um, Christians that they danced, they would do sort of a ring shout and they would get all um, in a circle and they would dance. And that, that faded out. And Shayla is who brought it back. But here's the thing um, here's, it's a really interesting story because Shayla actually isn't naturally a dancer. Here's the story. So she was in one of those beauty competitions, um, back in the day, you know, women would, would, uh, young women would participate in beauty pageants because it was access to give them access to scholarship money. And, um, the issue was, Shayla knew she could, you know, she had the gift of gab. She could just really um, possess the stage, but she didn't have a true talent. And her mom was like, well, baby, you got to use what you got to get what you want. <laughs> so, you know, that basically didn't help Shayla oh, at all. Man. 
Mm -hmm. um, because that wasn't a talent. And so um, Shayla, you know, women would So Shayla went on the um she got on the stage, she doesn't have her talent, she just starts praying to God, God, what should I do? What should I do? And people thought that she was dancing. <laughs> Okay. And so she saw that the people were moved by what she was doing. You know, the man came and got on the piano and started backing her up. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Liturgical dance was reintroduced. So she started taking that to all the churches from the South to the Midwest yeah. to out West. And there you have it. She didn't even do it on purpose. Um, but we salute you, Miss Shayla. We salute Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for daring you, to uh, lift your hands to lift and your surrender hand. to the Lord. And you never know what he's going to give you. And that's what he gave her. That Amen. ended up being her talent. Okay. Amen. What's up, Drake? <laughs> What's up, man? How we doing? Hey. I apologize for being late, real life interrupted, but we in here. It's all we good. In here. How we doing? Black we Santa doing Kane. good. Shayla, Shayla was an inspiring figure. Truly has done a lot. You know, I can see, you know, I imagine there were, back then, there was a lot less controversy over what the liturgical dancers were wearing, though. Today we get a little shaky when we get inside those realms at times, because we've seen some videos. We yes. we've seen some videos over the years, but you know, Sheila, I'm imagining old school, probably something by the ankle at that point in time, and then we just oh, yeah. we went from there, just different directions. Yeah. Yeah, well, she wasn't even doing it in church. Again, she was in a beauty pageant. So oh. it just, she just, but because she was saying she was praying to God. And so they just thought she was doing a dance to God and um, they just backed her up. And so it was really an accidental miracle. <laughs> the Lord is working yeah. wonders. Oh, yes. Excuse me. I've every been, day, every day. I've been called out. What up, neighbors? I apologize. I apologize for not properly addressing the neighborhood. Correct. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So um, I've been saving this video because I wanted to. I wanted to show it while you were here because okay. um, you got to see it to believe it. So I want y'all to uh, to check this out. Hold on, let me let me make sure I got audio. <laughs> so for those of you just uh watching, I mean listening to audio, what happens is uh you got a bunch of people at the altar, and this preacher has a glass of water. He proceeds to drink the water and then spit it out right into this man's mouth who is below him at the altar and then pours the water on his head and then the man falls out. No. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? Like, no. First of all, that's how COVID started right there. That, this is that, why we're not going to get rid of COVID. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's what we just saw. Right. Probably. And we always doing the most. COVID, swine flu, everything. H one N one. Here's the thing: the the way it came out the mouth indicated there was more than the other water that came in. More spit came out the water. Look at how that that sprayed in a way, <laughs> like a baby bird. Like what's happening here? What the lady next to is kind of oh she was wiping away her tears, Whoa. but then it's. Oh, okay, I was like, is she wiping away water? Yes, Ooh. she's wiping away the spray. A little, she's she's got a little. This reminds me of a gross thing that um, happened to me, but not anything like this. Oh, I'm about to say. Uh, but it was gross. This is out of control. What is up with the exchange of bodily fluids 
and other bodily matter. Um, why? Yeah, Cliff, this is two for two with you. The farting on the face last week and now this, brother. Yeah. One, one day, when, did, when did a simple just laying on the hands go out of style? <laughs> when did that? Because since we started this show, we've seen preachers pour soda on people. Soda. We've seen male preachers humping on female female members. Uh, we have seen that. Now we we saw people farting. Did we see the one? Somebody did something in the mud or something? No. Oh, that dude had to walk through the mud and they were putting down stuff on the ground as he was walking in. Okay. We see we've, a seen, of- we've seen a guy cast out an oral sex demon. <laughs> Yo. And, and now we've seen this brother spit in his Somebody down there. Me. <laughs> if you look sort of mid towards the middle of the mm-hmm. front, somebody is looking over. I think it's a younger oh, woman. Oh, yeah. I see her. What yeah. is happening? <laughs> She's like, oh, did you see that? Oh no! <laughs> if I'm at the altar, I'm just getting- like, and then she immediately turns her head, like, Mm-mm. Oh, we no. we ain't we ain't here for that line. I'm walking. Let away. me get out of that line real quick. So here's my question: If we are assuming, assuming he is moving from left to right, what are you doing? Walking out. What what, what is this person doing? I'm leaving like, the altar. I'm leaving the altar. I'm about to say, do you decide on that day? I no longer need that particular blessing. Exactly. I'm leaving the church. <laughs> Not the church universal. I am leaving that. Uh, that I'm, the church. <laughs> I'm tired of this church. Because we Pretty believe much. different things. I believe in science as well. <laughs> yeah. Really, they don't. Lord, if this is if I'm if I'm just He's sitting at the like altar. Waterboarded. Yeah. yeah. Pretty <laughs> much. Pretty much. If I'm sitting at the altar and oh, I'm like, Lord, is if this is the anointing you have for me, anoint me less. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, I know like Jesus. Why yeah. does he give him the water from his mouth and out of the bottle? I don't know. Or out of the cup? I don't know. Which one is holy? <laughs> the one out your mouth? Or if it was in the cup? Because if it could have just come from the cup, brother, why you have to put it in your mouth first? If you that dude, are you ready to fight? He, a- after you get up from being slain in the spirit, are you ready to fight? Clearly now, not. Can we put this in perspective? Okay. Because if we were to take it back to biblical times, my man Jesus Christos did indeed spit in, didn't he spit in the dirt and it became mud? Yes. So, he didn't spit on somebody. He spit in, spit the, in dirt. the dirt. I'm just saying. And then he wiped on their eyes, though. But that dude had a, yes, because that dude was blind. I'm just saying there is levels, but it's not unheard of. I can see where he's it's coming from with this. <laughs> Jesus did not spit on the people. The waters are stirring, and he figures <laughs> it meant the waters from his yeah. mouth. That's There's no I'm record saying. of Jesus spitting on someone. I'm just saying, I could see where he was going. He got caught up in the moment, and that's where we're at. He did not get caught up in the moment. That man is standing there. I thought that man had a disorder because of how long he's standing there just with his mouth open. No, he's holding right. his hand. He's holding it. Oh. He's holding his mouth yeah, open. So he, this is a prepared thing. This is not in the moment. He's he, he has been told, I'm going to put the water in your mouth. Here's the thing. If you look, I don't think he knows he was spat upon because his, oh, his eyes, eyes are closed. closed. If you see this video, do you have to fight for the oh. pastor? You can feel it. No, you can feel that that's not um, oh. how it was no spray bottle. How else the water getting in your mouth like that? Oh, that's horrible. It has to be a fight, though. It has to be a laying on of hands. That's my opinion. This dude has been waterboarded in the name of Jesus. This is awful. This is absolutely awful. <laughs> I no would way. leave that congregation immediately. Yeah. Yo, Chris is a nut. Immediately. So, I'm, I'm sure you. we all have non-Christian friends that have asked us, you know, why do y'all do this or that in church? Right. There's no defense to this. No. <laughs> no. This is what they mean. This, I can't defend this. Like I can't say, well, you know, no. No. And, and here's the problem. That young lady in the middle, she came down <laughs> she there on that today. day. To get her spirit renewed, she was going to say, sign her name in the book of life. She may not have made it because she saw this and said, Oh, no, no, Seth, do you see what's going on? 
<laughs> because the other the girl that she's with apparently has her eyes closed. Yep, head she's, down. And she this other this other young woman is she not missing the whole, she's she her eyes are locked. She's like, what is happening? Her, her that's a special ensemble. She saw old boy bring the cup of water out. She was suspect already. He's about no, he's about to go down because look, they get a towel out. Yep. And start using it. They're preparing, I think, for him to keep coming down. This is road. a thing. Everybody was going to get some of that. Everybody's getting some of that action. I need a follow up. I need to know exactly how many people got that mouth to mouth blessing on that day. <laughs> mouth to mouth blessing. But what was he being cured of, I wonder, or what his particular affliction was? Like, does he have throat cancer? There's no affliction that. Let that me spit me in the mouth. Okay, this is a question that was asked. My man Chris came off of uh came off of a uh, YouTube. He asked, "Would you let your pastor do that to you?" No, no, no. I have I have been in services where they they took the blessed oil and they were dropping in people's mouth, and I did not get in line. I was like, "No, y'all not doing oh, that. No thanks. That's not healthy." And that, oh, that ain't nothing but olive oil. I hope. Some of them got that frankincense and myrrh in it. You can smell. So I didn't get in line for that. So I'm definitely not not going to participate in this. Okay, wait. It was being poured from the original container or from it was it was cup? like a dropper. It was a dropper. So they oh had they a were using thing like a, okay with a, a dropper. dropper and they and you were tipping their head back and they were dropping. Yeah, I was like, no, thank you. I'm and not this was for people who had like because you know how sometimes they're like. Everybody who's got a back issue, stand no, up. No, this was just a prayer line. This was just a general prayer oh, line. Okay. They were anointing people. I'm going to put it this way. This is going to have to be prosperity talk before I'm going to even consider it. Like anybody who needs a financial blessing, they're going to have to put specific numbers out there. Like if you get this water spat in your mouth, it's six figures and up. Like that. that's the kind of blessing I'm looking for. I, I consider it. I consider it. But you could you imagine? Could you imagine a conversation what? that you haven't that you haven't? You had to swallow it. He swallowed it. I think. Oh, uh, you got to. Yes, he had to swallow some oh, of that. No, you don't got to swallow that. Yes, some of that. Some of that, some of that got swallowed. Look at. See, his oh, mouth is closed. He's, he's got yeah, water. He's, he, <laughs> he swallowed. He swallowed. He swallowed a good majority of that. Yo, Tamika has never been so irked on this show. Because this reminds me, I was in the gym once. This was in um where we lived before here, which right. was Minnesota. This dude, his treadmill um was drenched. Right. And I didn't notice that because I mind my own business when I go to the gym. Um, which is hard to do here because you always run into people, you know. But I usually yeah, like to mind my own work. business when I go to the gym. Right. This dude. I look over, I feel something like, you know, on my, you know, you just feel a droplet and kind of like, uh, oh. you know, you maybe wave it off. And then I felt another droplet. I'm like, oh. dude is sweating so profusely. His entire machine is drenched and the, the sweat is literally flicking off of him. Huh? <laughs> Running and sweating. The thing is, I was already one machine over from him. That's disgusting. Nasty. That's how serious his sweat was. Sir, sir, sir. You need your own personal gym at home. You, you should take it not outside. Be allowed to do that in a public place. Yeah. If it's going to be that, you got to take it outside. <laughs> Absolutely. So no, no, nobody wants to get that on them when they run past you. You need to be in a contained space. If yeah. you sweat like that, because also it's not normal. Can we put Donna on the screen real quick? Let me yeah. let me let me catch that real quick. I don't Don even let preachers touch my hands, stomach, feet, hands slash stomach slash feet when I'm getting prayer. They're definitely not spitting on me. Here's my question. Why why are we going up? If if they if, if you can't touch like stomach, feet, hand like nothing. So it's just head only, head shoulders, head. Okay, head and shoulders. Head and okay. shoulders. Okay. Yeah. If, 
because that that that's that, that, that's a I mean, long. If, if you if you a male if you a male like, minister or preacher, you shouldn't be touching a female anywhere. But hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, you if gotta, if the Lord is telling you that you need to that there's issue lower than that, then you get a female and you let you let the the power flow from you yeah. to from yeah. God through you to her to right. the woman. That's what you call yes. the first lady or the, or the pastor of that house. Right. One of the evangelists yeah, yeah. or missionaries. Yeah, I need you help with this. Yeah. yeah. I, I admit, I don't like that either. I don't even like holding some people's hands. Okay, let's talk about this. Because their hands are too sweaty. Come on, let's talk about this. People hold my hand entirely too tight. <laughs> don't have a ring on. I have, my hand has been in pain. After some prayers, I and to. I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, why are you holding my hand so?" Tight? At what point are you allowed or to break hands? Like, because if they're doing too much, if it's too sweaty, and how do you strategically break hands? Do you break into praise? Yeah, exactly. Oh, That's right. exactly this how you do it. Just like this. There you go. That's the safe way to do it. <laughs> like. like Nobody gets offended and God gets glorified at the same time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I don't know that I've even thought about that. I mean, I'm I oh, hold no. it through the prayer. Oh no. But then after that, and then I'm like, okay, God, I, I got you clocked. Never standing next <laughs> sitting next to you again. Like I will leave the service before Absolutely. I hold your hand again through it. Because sometimes you never know when a pastor could pull that out of his pocket real quick. Right. Grab two or three people next to you. We all know the people who we don't want in that inner circle with 100%. Us. And I'm not saying nothing. I'm not being deep. I'm just being real and surface. Yes. We all have people we don't want in that inner prayer, either because they pray too long, they're going to squeeze your hand, they're really sweaty, they have BO, their breath stinks, like any number of issues. Hey, let me touch, touch upon this. Hey, there's no need to rub my hand when we are praying. <laughs> your fingers shouldn't be moving. Yeah, hey, play it, dope. You see That's how you add on that. You're trying to add on the extra like anointing. You're I don't to like it. Stop that. Like, <laughs> or the thumb start moving. Like, hey, hey. Mm. No, we're we're solid. We're going we're gonna to be here. We're going to be solid. Has nope. anybody tried to hold your hand like this? Oh, we're like, not in a <laughs> I mean, yeah, I make sure we we, we, we grip. I'm like, all right, we, we, if we gonna hold hands, we're gonna do it the right way. We're not just gonna hold my, my two fingers. Gonna... Exactly. The only time that's... I ever went interlaced in church is when I was trying to boo, like I was pimping in church. That was that was back before I was saying, like, I've interlaced before, but there was a reason behind that. We were sending messages, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, no, yeah, you interlace with you if you're trying to get with somebody or you already with somebody, yeah, you interlace like, yeah, it's holy pimping, it's okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Mm, I'm gonna pray for you harder, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm on this interlace these fingers. I'm trying trying to show you I'm a prayer warrior, sis. (laughs) Oh, wow, wow. (laughs) yo, we can do a whole show or two on church pimping because Uh. there's games, there's levels to this. And there's there's whole ways to keep it holy and pimp in the church. That's uh, not that I, I've heard. I've heard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, what Max said? Wow. <laughs> you hold hands with somebody and they start to shout. <laughs> yep. Been there. Been there. And then it's like, oh, can I? <laughs> don't you? Or when somebody's just sitting next to you and mm-hmm. you don't know them. And I always feel awkward. Like, I don't know what to do because since I work with students, you just don't touch people, right? Yeah. Like you never touch anybody unless they ask you, you know, or you know them and you know, you can hug them. Otherwise you just don't touch people. So I felt awkward if the person like really gets moved by the spirit or they're like breaking down and I'm like, um, do I get them tissue? Mm. Should I? Mm. Should I? Get, you and people are kind of looking at you like you're the designated person now. Do something. Do something. Do something. And mm. I'm just like, but I don't know them. I don't know if they want me touching them. Hey, let me tell you, as a man, and you, the, a woman is breaking down next to you playing. You are looking for the church mothers left and right. Like, hey, I can't. I'm. I can't because you can't go back, rub. 
So, you so, can't go shoulder rub. You just like, oh. hey, play Woo saw. Come on, let them use you. Work it out. Mm -hmm. And then you got to put your hands in the place where everybody knows it ain't you. I'm over here. No, bless them. Uh huh. But yeah, it's certain you things. Can you can do hand to... over the shoulder. Hand yeah. over the shoulder. You're trying to go to all the jails. No. No, no. Everybody, everybody can see your head. Everybody go can ahead, see your go head. ahead, catch a case. Your head over the go shoulder on top, and you just, that. you just like it's all right. It's all right. You better make sure that's a well-established platonic relationship. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not not some person you don't know that well. Oh no, I'm just saying. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Just let them. And have, <laughs> see that I was gonna get too real because there's another one. You have to be careful of the person that you really don't mean to be pimping, but they actually trying to pimp you. Like, like. Somebody who may I I may have in the past had some person actually go to my parents and tell them that they were meant to marry me. I've heard, I've heard people do stuff like that. Before. Yes, like go to my parents, both of them. Sometimes these church to me get surprised. These church women be getting desperate sometimes. And and I was and, and <laughs> how so, no like how, okay if, if, if you if you get age range you can tell me the exact age. No. Give me an age range. You were in college, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've been in church long enough, uh, you a man, you've heard some woman say, "The Lord told me you're gonna be my husband." Like I'll you've heard too. Yeah, you, you either heard it, somebody say about you, or you know somebody that said about somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not the thing, sis. That's not the move. I, I heard it, not and I, I've heard dudes use it too. <laughs> so many sisters out here and dudes oh, too. I so, do stuff like that. Here mm -hmm. You know, you can't walk down the street, you know, with all your teeth. Barely without guys proposing to you. It's guys are relentless, and you know that I I think that's very interesting for somebody to say to the parent of someone, yeah. not to the person, yeah. to the parent of someone. That's real interesting. That was interesting. And let, let me be clear: it's church these, these church women and men before people get upset. Yeah, exactly. Church women. Women I, and men be out here. Clear it up. Let's yeah, clear it up. About. The uh, Lord said, the Lord said, you're going to be my wife. I, I, I it's like, before. oh, did he now? Lord, they I told, Lord, they told me one. nothing. Lord, they say nothing. I, I'm not going to get into this. We ain't going to get me in trouble. I may have one time had a woman tell me about a dream that they had of our, wed of our wedding. <laughs> Different woman. Yeah. You and uh and your just, college days. I'm just saying it was just a different time. Um, yeah, it was and, and plus, and plus, uh, you know, when you went to school, the black population wasn't that many, so <laughs> no offense hey, to brother, you, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was uh your sisters out here thirsty. Hey man, I, <laughs> that never mind, we're gonna leave that alone. Cause I'm a hey, uh, happy Valentine's Day to my baby. Did we say that already? Okay, I'm late. It's okay. Go ahead. You mm -hmm. said it on Valentine's Day. I mean, <laughs> that, that would be fine <laughs> if you said it to her then. You, no need to reiterate it. Here. Oh, I did some ghetto mess on Valentine, but it was yeah. from the heart, though. It was from the heart, though. That's, it that's was all from the heart. That's all that matters. Exactly. Uh, we have come to that point in the show. Do you have a rant for the point? brother? I have a few things. All right, that, that I have written down on today. Just okay. I don't want to use all of them because it takes time to think of these things. Okay. Um, let me let me touch upon this one real quick. It's not a <laughs> rant. It's just something that I, I really want to get off my chest. You don't always have to be. I don't celebrate that person. You understand what I'm saying? Like especially. Huh? Around Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. we oh, we don't celebrate oh, oh, Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, okay. I okay, know. Yeah. I know. Let people, people love get to tell you. Let people post off. Let people, people love... get their Facebook post off. You can be mad in your corner, okay? You don't have to give me a whole entire breakdown of how how it's fake, everything else. A little bit. As, as little as it's kept, as quiet as it's kept, me and my wife, we really don't mess with Thanksgiving. I'm Thanksgiving. Uh, I was hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. We don't <laughs> mess with Valentine's Day like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, it, but we did a little, a little something. Matter yeah. of fact, I may have gotten in trouble for giving gifts after we had said we weren't going to. That's a hyp hypothetical thing. <laughs> but, but I know you can't agree with that. 
like anyway. And so don't don't let people don't let people enjoy their moment. You don't have mm-hmm. to be. We don't celebrate that. And let me tell you why this holiday is made up and how you're giving it to the system and how you've been pre-programmed to do this and so on and so forth. Just, 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 just put it on pause for a half a second. I got one more thought that I was. I've been. What people have you. nice things. Exactly. Yeah. Um. No, I'm gonna say that for another week because that that's a real one. I, this is <laughs> this is something I, I've been in my Spotify bag lately. Okay. And. and are people we touched upon it briefly before, but it's a question. Are people out here smashing the gospel music? <laughs> because uh, I let me let me explain, give you a little back. I was listening to, to, to um major the song This Is Why I Love You, and then started going on this other song that sound related. For some reason, Isaac Karee, I don't know if you ever heard his song Her. Her, yeah. Hey. That song is going to have babies made to it. That, that that's it's that's, supposed to, right? I mean, that's his. That's that. That whole album is like a, a a romance. Here's the thing: at one point, he talks to the Holy Spirit. And he's actually talking to the Holy Spirit throughout much of the song. Here's my thing: it, can you smash to the Holy Spirit discussion? Well, I mean, when you marry, you you pretty much you pretty much smash whatever's playing at the okay. time. All right, I'm just saying. I mean, you mean intentionally? Commercials. Yeah, I mean, but you you like <laughs> stuff just be on the TV and you just get you just go in. It, it don't matter. Can it be on the playlist? Can you be setting up the playlist like bam? No, I would not put that on my playlist. This no. Isaac Curry is going to be the one that gets no, the draw. I would not. I, I probably would no. not think to put that in my playlist. No. <laughs> oh, we not saying that. This okay. show is insane. Okay. Um, it, that's between you and your partner, okay. right? I'm, I'm and whatever. Whatever. TDJ whatever does have a whole partner. album. That he most oh, yeah, on. it's like it's, it's old, doesn't it's have like school. red satin. Yeah, it's like he, the, he, he, did a, he did he did what? basically a whole gospel love. TD Jakes went to this point in time when he was like producing gospel, so he he has this whole he motions uh gospel album. It's basically Christian love songs. I hey. remember this. My parents had this. I don't want hey, you know, get in how you fit and go ahead and play. I ain't mad at him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Max, <laughs> Max said you could play it. Max says you could play the audio version of Genesis. It's still going down. This <laughs> is pretty much true. When, like when you when you marry, you just you don't even care. Basically, what, Yo, what about like, lamentations? And when you got kids, you just happy you can get in when you can. And then it kiss. And you know <laughs> when they start referencing the Songs of Solomon, which is the freakiest book in all the world. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know that it's going down. It's going down. Let me touch upon this. I have gotten to meet some of y'all in the social media world. Matt put up one of the most hilarious slash ignorant Valentine's Day posts in America. I really can't repeat it here on this show, but I will say this. If you can find Mac on the on the face of the book or the book of the face, the brother's hilarious. Out of pocket, but hilarious. And, you know, Mac, I hope your night was all good. Salute to you, sir, because I know what you were trying to do. Amen. Amen. Dr. Townsel, Dr. T, do you have any thoughts for the people? I have a quick, I have a couple of quick thoughts. The first thought is this, um, in terms of the, and I was talking to y'all about this after the show last mm-hmm. week, in terms of the streaming services, where does it stop? <laughs> where does it, stops, it stop? It stops when your wallet says stop. Where does it stop? How do they expect us to keep up with all of this? I mean, some of them, I literally forget that it's a thing. BET Plus, mm-hmm. Peacock, right. Right. Disney Plus, right. Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, mm-hmm. Discovery Plus. That's my and new on and on and on. Mm-hmm. I mean, when does it stop? Paramount Plus. Yeah. Now, I'm we... It's we're now getting to the point where we're going to be paying Xfinity or AT&T, whoever you go, and all of these other platforms. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we're actually going to be spending more money. I want to remind all of you all that we asked for this so that we could spend less money. Come on, sis. Well, is it less money? Well, I mean, some people it's less money, but it's also what I want when I want it. When you had cable, you couldn't watch 
what you wanted to when you wanted to watch it. I, I'm not with DVR right? though. You can so you know, with DVR and on demand. But like with cable, you could never watch all the game. If you want to sit down today and watch Game of Thrones, HBO with cable, Max. yeah, got you you got it now. You couldn't do that before with traditional cable. But I get your point though. I so here's what I say. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So you can do this though, and this is this is where it's frustrating. So right. I can go on. I still have Xfinity. I can go on to HGTV on demand mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. access mm-hmm. all the content they have on there. Right, all the old content up to whatever's the latest thing they put on there could we make a rule like if you don't have that much content it's one thing for hbo max right but like bet what are you doing yeah let's talk like we i i and and then and then you got and then they got the nerve to have all the black shows dispersed if they put one more black show on peacock Nobody's watching Peacock. They're trying. That's the, they're trying but to. Pe- is, but at least, at least Peacock has a free version, though. I haven't. I've watched it like once. But at least Peacock. But has you a forget free that version. it's there. My wife. It's probably worse free. that it's free because we forget that it's there. You got to basically set your own personal rules. I so, do this. Like this is a real thing because Netflix just bumped it up, mm-hmm. and they they approach. Yeah, they the did. I got they approaching twenty. Cause they're about seventeen ninety nine right now. Mm-hmm. Cause you gotta get the four K. I had to get the four K package. No. And I admit I am very bougie when it comes <laughs> to my streaming services. Uh-huh. Like if it's four ninety nine for free, I'm gonna pay the six. Uh, I'm gonna pay the six ninety nine so I don't get commercials. I- I'm that guy. Then mm-hmm. you have wait. Then you have Spotify. Mm-hmm. Want ten dollars. Then you got YouTube. Every time I get on there, they're trying to get me to buy something. That's twelve. That's twelve what? months premium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm I, not doing I, I, it's worth it. You you pay for YouTube TV? Yes. No, not YouTube TV. Okay. YouTube premium. YouTube premium. No Dre commercials. Is spending uh, a I don't good mind commercial. Three to five hundred dollars. Pretty much. You got the way I see it is you just gotta set standards. So you gotta say if you got this, I'll get your service. If you don't like if you don't have superhero stuff, I'm not getting your service, most likely. I did have so, to run a calculation last month just to make sure I was still saving some money. And once I did that, I felt better. It wasn't as much as I probably should be saving, but I'm that, still saving so that's probably because when you had cable, you had like the super duper exactly. max package, like you, you had, had the everything. top, you had everything. All the channels, even the channels that well, most people is staticky. You probably I had those. Ch- <laughs> I wouldn't either confirm or deny. <laughs> you had those channels too. I feel judged in this. Space. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't think it's safe anymore right now. But I wouldn't either confirm. Or it's deny. just it makes me Delegate. anxious. I feel like I have fewer options as a consumer. I feel less and less empowered. I really? feel disempowered. Yeah. I feel exploited because if I want to watch one thing, mm-hmm. so like. Hulu had a Christmas movie that I wanted to watch. So I did Hulu just so I could watch that one thing. Right. You know, we did Disney Plus just so we could watch the um, Soul, right? Mm -hmm. And then you sort of, then you binge. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, okay, I'm only keeping this for one month and I'm getting rid of it. But then they trick you because HBO Max, guess what? We're probably going to be re-upping. And I just feel anxious and stressed about this. And I don't like it (laughs) because I felt like that they were supposed to be freeing us from cable. This was the, this is what this was supposed to be about, but I feel more bound. Yeah. See, HBO is getting you because they're releasing movies right to HBO Max. So once they do that, it's it's totally worth it because if you got more than two people yep. going to the movies, this this is true. Yeah, now you go by find the babysitters for people with small yeah. children. It's with the new movie drop in or uh, Raya Rakaya on uh, Disney Plus, uh, representing oh, for our Asian American brothers, uh, Asian brothers and sisters. Oh yeah. yes, that new animated joint. I'm pumped for that. I still haven't seen Judas and uh, the new Black Panther joint. As I, I heard his height. I heard his <laughs> Judas in the new back. Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard his <laughs> stuff. Don't tell me nothing. I haven't seen it either. Oh, it's okay. Tough. Oh, guys. Okay. Yeah. Look. You got some. Yeah, but... You got some. Right, can you I, talk? I, about I'm not going to say movie? anything about it. I'm not going to say. Anything I heard it's about good. It. It's okay. excellent. It's yeah. phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It is. Everybody must watch this. Okay. 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 Everybody must watch this. 
especially because I think people don't know a lot about the figures, Fred Hampton um, and Wild Bill, the figures that they are exploring in this film. I'm not going to share anything about it. Um, a lot of people have been asking about where is our generation's Fred Hampton? Fred Hampton was the lieutenant of the Chicago chapter of the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. So you should, I mean, you can find that on Wikipedia. That's not telling you anything. That's just history. Right. Um, people have been like, where's our, where's our generation's Fred Hampton? Where's the Fred Hampton of our day? That's the wrong question, in my humble opinion. Okay. I think the better question is, what are you doing? Mm to bring about change, to bring about justice in a radical way in your sphere of influence. There you go, sis. Not looking for someone else. What are you doing? And I have been really appalled by the number of people I've heard asking this question because they really missed the point hmm. um, of him uh, of that brother's message and and uh, the point of the film. So that that was my second small take. It is worth it. I will be watching it multiple times. I've already watched it once. It's um uh, it's excellent. It is wait. so 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 well done. I can't wait to see it. I got another. I got another one for us. Shout out to people who are coming in right now. We were down to eight. Now we're back to eleven. Shout out to the folks who come in. Fourteen right total. Now. Yeah, I got I got another one. I'm going to save this because this is a real one for all my fellas. I'm going to save it for next week. I really want to talk on it, though. It's, it's important. Let me – let me. no, no, no. I'm going to save it. I'm good. I'm quiet. I'm going to say this last thing about streaming services before we go. The, the problem is you feel – at least I feel like somewhat pressure to support the black stuff because if you don't support it – It's going to go away. It's going to go away. But BET Plus, you're just gonna have to go away because that's. You know what I mean, I'm not. I'm not getting BET Plus. I'm not worried about them. They Viacom. That's not happening. Yeah. yeah, but like, like I don't know if y'all like Kevin on stage. Y'all know Kevin on stage. He has yeah. a streaming service. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my five, yeah, I gotta get my five dollars a month because I need support the brother. He's out here trying to build stuff. Yeah. It's I pressure. I it's I pressure. appreciate. You know, we we've got to consolidate this, folks. <laughs> that just made me feel so much anxiety in my chest because I love Kev on stage. I didn't realize he has his own service. Can I? Can I? Here's here's the thing. And it's a lot of. I'm assuming it's a lot of content because at least all these comedy shows he's been doing through quarantine. That's all on the service. I'm so old and washed alone. now, so my whole weekend, like the free time, that little free time I have, consists of streaming services. I come home, I get I get the first load of washing on, and me and my wife will sit down or go to Disney Plus and watch WandaVision, or whatever else is high at the time. And then as soon as she's done with that, she's usually ready to go to bed, I switch over to Discovery Plus and just watch the old shows of HGTV for the rest of the night. Watch people buy houses. Yes, and rebuild houses, and I'm just there, no. and I could do. I'll do that same thing mm. on Saturday in between loads of washing, and I actually go back and rewatch Wandavision probably late Saturday or Sunday just to really pick up on everything, and then back to more HGTV houses because there's no we football now. We should, you know, I'm going to investigate this, Cliff, because to your point. It's not just so I feel like the black shows are being ghettoized on mm. these streaming services because sometimes it's after the network, the cable network has given up on the show. Then they push it to a streaming service. Right. right. Whether yeah. it's affiliated with that particular network or they push it to something like a Netflix like or Prime. Yeah. Right. And then sometimes they but even if it's so then if it if an if netflix takes over it right so that happened with designated survivor right that was on abc and then i guess abc dropped it and then netflix picked it up but netflix then did a third season yeah. oh really okay they mm -hmm. invested a lot of money into it there isn't equal money being invested into the black shows and then there's hardly for some um shows there's if it's a big drop like the crown okay mm -hmm. they're gonna promote that 
for a lot of stuff on Netflix, it's never even promoted. I can't tell you how many times I stumbled on something on Netflix and been so upset that this wasn't in my recommended feed. Mm -hmm. Like I watch all black stuff. Why is this not? In my, I mean, black I watch stuff? other stuff too, but it's like yeah. everything black is in my should be in my feed. And there's some gems in there, some stuff that I would have overlooked and also it's all under like black it's not under romance comedy they call it black, black. Yeah. Yeah. i follow that i follow that ig account but there's also some trash on there like i there i is. share i share my ig with some other folks i mean my ig my uh netflix, netflix. Other folks. they got their own accounts and one time you know i just accidentally clicked on their joint and their list was just of all the trash ghetto black movies that were on there. Just oh. trash. We made this movie for about $30. <laughs> and I was like, I had to talk to them. I'm like, hey, player, I just happened to be on this. I was like, why do you watch on it? Yo, man, I, I, I love them. I love my guys. Support them. <laughs> like, no, these are, this is not good quality cinema. You feel the pressure to support. And they serious, and they will sit down and watch these things. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know what? To each their own. What I do yeah. love, no, I'm about to get nerd talk. What I do love about Netflix though is the the way it's opening opening up the world of international cinema to the American audience. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and it's it's like their things, whether it be in French, Spanish, they have a strong section. Of movies, selection of movies coming from the continent of Africa. Like they have a lot of. Oh, yeah. It's they a, have a lot of good, stuff on there. Yeah, a lot of good cinema. <clears throat> and so I do respect that, most definitely. And that's my nerd talk for this week. Well, I'm still stressed about this. You are. You really are. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't understand why. It's because this is too much money. Just this pick is what you too want much drop money to be entertained, you know? And then I'm really into podcasts. So I invested in Spotify yep. because I don't want to, you know, I want to listen to the whole podcast and then I want to listen to music when I was, you know, it's just, it's just too much. If somebody else asks me to buy anything and here's something else and I'm coming for you, Google music. <laughs> Look, I have an Android. I do not have an iPhone. That's right. Team so Android. I had bought music. And it was Google Music on my phone. And I wasn't paying attention to, you know, whatever. I just want this song to listen to whenever I want to listen to it. And I usually buy gospel because I'm like, not enough people are supporting gospel artists. So one day, they Google do. Music was no more. They this happened like you. last month. Yeah, they tried to tell you. No, they didn't. Yes, they no, did. they didn't. They and now like I don't it. know how to access my music. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> they, they switched to YouTube it's Music. YouTube. It's, it's YouTube Music now. But I don't know what that is. And they keep asking me for money. And I'm like, I just want the songs that I download. <laughs> that I, I don't for. want, I don't want, they keep trying to say, do you want Chloe and Hallie radio? No, I don't. <laughs> I want my PJ Morton. <laughs> That's all. Salute to you for buying music. Oh, I yeah, I, have to, I support like people who I think are not getting. I respect enough. that. I pay a lot of money in streaming. I am not. I'm <sighs> not buying the junk. It's got to be real tough for me to buy. You know why? Because I'm not going to burn it onto a CD. Is your? Do you even have a CD burner anymore? I do. Of, of course you do. This of computer. <laughs> this, this. Of course you. Do. This computer I'm on does, but that's it. I haven't right. burnt a CD in years, though. I still have CDs. I was one of the ones that went out and bought the stack of like 200 yeah. for like $12. And I, I still have some of those upstairs. I had the label maker where you can put the graphics on it. Brother, I was, oh. I was, I was out here. You was out here uh, <laughs> with a little enterprise, huh? Right. He was out here so that was a Unless I was putting together a mix CD, I really wasn't getting them out. Giving them out. This was for me. I had to have the quality. You know what I'm saying? That that was for me. I wanted when you looked at my because I would judge people 
if you would look through their flip case, like mm-hmm. mm, you ain't even got no label on that bootleg. That's not even a real good bootleg. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't had no label, and your label wasn't in color, and it was too fuzzy, nah. you ain't even had a good bootleg, man. I'm gonna just I'm gonna yeah, put that yeah. out. There. I remember them days. Your CD case was like your badge of honor. I oh, hundred percent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. I get that thing with pride. Like I, I would know. gain or lose respect for people based upon what was in that CD case. That collection. Mm. Yep. One time, because it was worth a lot of money though. Too, you think yep. about how much all those, how much CDs used to be. Mm-hmm. One time, my mom had. It was an artist that you know. What it was, R. Kelly. So one time, my mom. This was before you know. Right. Okay, she went into my room. My mom had these things. She would just go into our room and just look at stuff, mm-hmm. right? Okay, no privacy because she paid the bills. So she Amen. went into my CD case, took out all the R. Kelly stuff, and threw it away. And so I came home. She was all casual. She was like, "Oh yeah, I was looking through your music. I threw out all the R. Kelly." I was like, <laughs> after the uh, Survivor R. Kelly came out, my I, I, um uh, last year or a couple years ago, I was like, "My, you was on to something." Yup, her spirit was her spirit knew. Mm-hmm. She's something like, oh, not right girl, about please. that boy. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was so upset though because I was like, "Ma, you know how much that stuff costs me." Somebody, never mind. I'm not supposed to be upset about it no more, but I'm still upset. Somebody took my my double album, the Aura album, because I had paid for that joint full price. But you know, we're not upset about it anymore because he's canceled. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. A fi- a uh, totally canceled. Yeah, I never, I never owned R. Kelly music. <laughs> I did. It's all right. I could slide to that step, slide. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Okay, yeah, we'll cancel. Don't go back. That's just I'm the home. devil. I'm not sure it is. <laughs> just the devil. <laughs> I don't want to slide no more. <laughs> you all right? I don't want to slide right? no Deep more. breaths, deep breaths, <laughs> deep breaths. Oh, you got a Christmas slide too. A Christmas slide, dog. Oh, okay, when well, we get off of this, Dre, can you please tell me how to access my music that Google, <laughs> YouTube, somebody has stolen from me? <laughs> well, actually, if you didn't convert it, I'm not sure if you still have it because they told you you had to convert it. They did. Nobody told me this. Where they tell me? They emails. Sent emails. No. I got some. Probably when you log in to Google Music, it probably. <laughs> I got him. I, get a so message. I know you got him. <laughs> I get a message. We, we'll talk about this off the air. It's okay. She's so mad. Yeah, you can't. This, it's the thing about Google, but you can't. You can't fall in love with none of these services because they'll cut that joint in a minute. If that money. That, is, right? So they need to give me my money back. <laughs> yeah. I've spent well <laughs> over a hundred dollars. It was funny to me when you said that. It blessed my heart because you were serious. I'm gonna give you the customer hotline. You go ahead. Go as soon as you, as soon as you start liking something Google make, yeah, we just gonna discontinue that product. Yeah, man. Uh, but anyway, it's good right, to be in here with y'all. It's a long day, so it's good to see y'all and be able to laugh with y'all. Appreciate you. Good to see you too. Thank you to all neighbors who hung with us today. We do this show every Tuesday, right here on Facebook or YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. We love it when you hang with us live. We appreciate all the neighbors that that commented and, and hung with us today um, and, and doing the live part of the show. But if you can't, that's all right. You go to turntoyourneighbor.com for all the ways you can watch us on demand. You can check out the podcast and other ways you can just watch the show when you're able to in your own time. But if you have not done so, make sure you like our Facebook page, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, hook us up so you know when we go live, you get a notification, you can join us. All right. Y'all good? I'm mm-hmm. good. All right. So thank you all for hanging with us. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.